I'm Tom Bell with Summit Tech Instruments, and we are featuring our passive intermodulation test equipment. The unit here is a full 20 watt test set, and what passive intermodulation testing does is that we transmit two signals into RF infrastructure looking for interference created by those signals. So in the case of uh, you know, LTE or CDMA systems, when I'm putting those frequencies into the network, if there are loose connections or, or joints in the system that are just not connected well, they can cause noise, and that noise can be in band and actually can decrease the capacity of the network. So by just simply turning this on, and so in this case, I'm gonna, gonna turn on the two transmitters, let it make some noise. In this case, what you're looking at is the magnitude of the mixed signal that's being created. So in this particular case, it's below a NEG 97 dBm, we call that a pass. But if I have a loose connection, and just by jiggling it, you can see how the, the sensitivity of the equipment is finding those kinds of problems. The unit over here is exactly the same thing, except it's a two watt test set. And the beauty of this is that it's battery operated, super lightweight, and I can carry it directly to testing on something like a DAS system um, or a remote radio head. In the case of this is, I'd hook it up to what I was testing, push the button. On this unit, if there's one light on, it's good. If there's more than one light, it's bad. So this is a, this is a bad termination that we put on here to be able to use for, for verifying the, the unit's working.